Oh, there, there you are, Pete. Sorry. Hmm. All right. So uh, six o'clock. So we'll call call to order. Pledge of allegiance. Okay. Going over here. Standing. You got a flag? I have a flag over here. All right. Pledge of allegiance. Pledge of allegiance to the flag. United States of America. Republic. Republic for which it stands. One nation. One nation. God. God. It is all liberty, and liberty and justice for all. For all. Thank you. Public input. Okay. If somebody would like to um, have public input, if you would, you can raise your hand. Um, actually, you can do that. You can do that on your screen. If I can't see you. Have anybody that would like to speak? Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got my hand raised. Oh, wait, Dave. I'm sorry. We've got Dave here. Dave's got his hand raised. There we go. All right. Hi. Uh, Dave Bunting, 29 Apple Tree Road. I just want Dave, to thank the Dave, committee. Dave, I'm sorry. Would you just tell me your name again, your last name? Bunting, B U N. T I N G. Thank you so much. And I just want to thank the committee for all the work they've done um, in looking into this issue. Thanks, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Hey, okay, anybody else? Okay. I don't see anybody else. Okay. Okay. Uh, correspondence. There isn't. There isn't any. So moving right ahead to uh, uh, dispense of the uh, reading of the minutes from the last meeting. Uh, can I get a motion on that? I'll move. Oh, second. Later. Sorry, who seconded it? Uh, Fred. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. No opposed? All right. So the report from Sutphin. So, um, I got the report from Sutphin. Uh, it it looks. Did you guys? Everyone see it? Everyone got it? Mm -hmm. Yes. So basically, it's it's the same type of report that you would get from a UL third party test. Only Sutphin did it. Uh, they found a couple minor things. Uh, you know, class one, class two, class three. They found a couple class three things. The biggest thing that really worried them was a leak in the steering, the power steering uh, box. Um, during the time that we've been in existence, you know, there was some pushback on Five Star and how good or bad Five Star was. Five Star is transitioning. Shipman's is now the new Sutphin rep. Um, you know, all of us have been around long enough to know the reputation of Shipman's and, and that they're a solid company. So I had a long talk with Harold Harrington, who's the owner of Shipman's about, I basically explained the situation, what was going on. I also talked to Scott Olette, who's the head of service for Sutphin. Scott felt that it was a really good time to send the truck to shipments because, you know, they're all EVT and all that stuff, but they also are gonna have factory rep technicians at shipments training their mechanics on, you know, Sutphin exclusive things. Not that there's really that much with the tower that's exclusively Sutton. So Harold basically, obviously he can't put a price on the repairs. Uh, for example, one of the things noted was a leak, a hydraulic leak at the swivel. So if it's the hydraulic leak from the bottom, which like Fred, when we were on the creeper, we noticed that that seal was wet. If yeah. they have to replace it from the bottom, that's an easy fix. If it's up in the top, you got to remove the whole tower. That's a big job. So. You know, obviously he wasn't about to commit to some crazy price. So he gave us, uh, they'll pick it up, you know, as long as it's fueled up and Bethel Fire does a, a pre-trip on it, says, yep, it's good to go. They'll drive it out to shipments. They'll go through it. And basically 150 bucks an hour, which is reasonable, um, to do the class three repairs, which is the hydraulic system overhaul. So complete change of fluids, you know, the whole thing. Um, and then address the power steering situation. 
and then once the class three defects are addressed, he'll basically call us and say, here, here's where we are money-wise, and now we can address the class two things. I mean, there's frayed seat belts, there's a missing visor, uh, the auto eject doesn't work, you know, things like that that just happen over time. So um, I think that that's a reasonable, very reasonable. I think that we're very affordable for the, uh, the amount of repairs needed. And uh, it would be my recommendation uh, to the committee that we go ahead and authorize shipments to, uh, to you know, notify Bethel Fire, to take the truck out of service, take any loose equipment off, do a pre-trip on it, and set up a time that, that shipments can arrive and take the truck and uh, fix it. So I'll take, uh, I guess, discussion on, on that point before we take a motion. Well, I, li I like where you're going, Chief. Um, I would like to note, though, that, however, that Bethel Fire has already sent the truck to Gallons at Night to do a fluid and filter change on the hydraulic system. And it went out on uh, Monday, came back yesterday. I, I had a chance to operate the truck this morning. And there is a noticeable difference in the chatter. It's, it's, it's a lot less, but it does still have the chatter in it. Um, so I don't, I don't know where we go from there on that, but uh, probably something well, that's... I... Go ahead. To be honest with you, I find it kind of odd that the truck's been out of service for nine months. And then uh, the day that a, a report, you know, the, the committee was charged with getting to the bottom of the issue. Uh, so we, we flew somebody in from corporate. We're going to a corporate dealer. And then two days before we go to a corporate dealer, the fire company decides to send the truck to, and there's nothing wrong gallons at night. They're an excellent service center, but it just seems kind of weird that of the timing that they would suddenly do that. I mean, yeah, I, I, you yeah, know, I had made mention to them that, you know, Shipments was going to be the new uh, suffin rep and that, you know, if they were going to do anything, it should probably go to Shipments. But, uh, you know, like I said, they went ahead and did a, you know, a hydraulic fluid change with filter. You know, like I said, I operated the truck this morning, you know, the chief's okay. And I, I did notice that there's a noticeable difference. It only seems to have the chatter now on, um, it was lower and extension is the only time it ch chatters. You know, whereas before it was chattering on both extension, retract, lower, and raise. All right. Um, um, nonetheless, I, you know, I, I think that's the major issue that the fire company is most concerned about. And, you know, I think that situation needs to be resolved. You know, I, I had the opportunity to speak with the Suffin rep when he came out and do this, did this testing a couple of times. And you know, his initial thoughts seemed to be leaning towards it was something with the valving in, inside the pedestal. And, you know, you know, the first thing he says was, oh, they all do that, you know, as they age. And it's, okay, well, and then, you know, in, in his second breath, he says, but I haven't seen one quite this bad. So, uh, so I asked him, I said, well, okay, so if they all do it, I mean, is it still something that's repairable? And he indicated, yes, it's repairable. You know, and he, his, his initial thought was that it was in the valving within the pedestal, which is, it's, it's similar to the valving that they use on, uh, Dump trucks, he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, yeah, he opened it up and showed it to me. It's you know, it's a simple hydraulic valve assembly. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, Mr. Chairman, on the uh, hydraulic oil change was the next day. Scott had to call Suffin and talk to two gentlemen up there, and they informed him that the hydraulic oil had to be changed, the high pressure filter had to be changed, the two oil filters had to be changed, exercise the ladder a couple of times, and put it back in service. Sure, purge it out. Sure. That, and that's and that's what they did, and that's why. And then he brought it back last night, and he said, "Well, I'm not going to put it back in service." And I go, "Why?" He said, "Because I didn't get that in writing." I said, "Well, the two gentlemen from Suffolk, Ohio, talked to you, and said, change the oil, put the filters in, put it back in service." So he put it back in service. Well, the in talking to the service manager at Suffolk Corporate, as he put it. It's not our job to tell you whether the truck's in service or not. That's so right. we'll, tell you, we'll tell you whether it's safe to operate and it's up to the, the authority right. having jurisdiction. That's what said, right. so, so again, I don't want to get in the middle of some you know, contest here, but the committee was formed due to the lack of action from the authority having jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. And I just find it really suspect that two days before we have a meeting to address that the town authorized Sutphin Corporate, at specific request of the fire company that they didn't want the local dealer, they wanted Sutphin Corporate. 
They were so concerned about the safety of this truck that we flew somebody from Ohio here right. to give us an honest and independent opinion. And then we went so far as to get the factory representative company to make the repairs. And 36 hours before we do that, the fire company takes suddenly after nine months takes it upon themselves to send it to a very reputable local fire truck. I mean, we, everybody, everybody in this room has used gallons a night a hundred times and make a couple hours repair and the truck's good to go. And we throw it back in service. I just, the, the bugs yeah. and then, I don't, I don't want to service speak for the, I don't want to speak for the chief at all, uh, but I, th I think he was going on the recommendation of self incorporate to, to change right. out the hydraulic fluid. Sure. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. You know, I think it was, you know, I question the, the fact that they send it to gallons a night as opposed to shipments, you know, shipments being the authorized dealer. But, you know, I, I, I think the chief was going on Suffin's recommendation to yeah. start with a fluid change. So I, Mr. Mr. Chairman, if I may uh, yes, Matt. Uh, invoke my uh, privileges as uh, ex officio. Uh, I have to say, I agree with you. Uh, I am um, very concerned that this action was taken to move the truck without informing uh, my office or your committee uh, to have that repair made. Uh, I would prefer at this point that you follow with the, the recommendation that you were originally going with to have everything checked out with, with shipments with the new factory authorized center. Uh, personally, given the controversy surrounding this, I would like to have the engineers from Sutphin uh, on site with the technicians at Shipman's. I, I wanna make sure that I know exactly what's going on with this truck. Uh, I, I really wish that that had not happened until we had a chance to complete the, the process of this committee. And I, and I wanna thank the committee for everything you've done. Uh, you, you've really done an excellent job. Um, and, and there has to be some changes in the relationship between the town and its fire, fire companies uh, as a result of this, because this is just not how we, can do business in the future. Is that what? Uh, Ralph? It was uh, good. It was question. good. Hang, hang on, yeah. Go ahead, Ralph. Yeah. Uh, my question is when they had the when they had the truck serviced, so when you say back in service, back in service is an operating aerial? Yeah, they, they put it back in service last night as an operating ladder truck. Right. A after the complaint that it was unsafe. You, you broke up. I didn't hear what you said. After the, a, after the complaint uh, that the truck was unsafe. They, they put it back in service last night after it came back from gallons a night. You know, after, after a recommendation, I guess after talking with the soften reps, and right. completing a, a fluid change, the, the fire company decided to put it back in service, is my understanding. So, so just to reiterate, it, it passed its ladder inspection in August. In September, it was removed from service. And the officers of the fire company, I believe, made an, a recommendation to the Board of Selectmen for an emergency purchase of over a million and a half dollars because the truck was so dangerous that no one could even look at it without fear of dying. And now we do this due diligence, and 36 hours later, we change the hydraulic fluid and it's good to go? But I think, I, I think the problem was, number one was, you can't exclude the cheese from it, but they didn't take it out of service. And then went to a training exercise and they explained to the guy there was something going wrong and they came back and took it out of service. I asked the chief, well, who were they to take this ladder truck out of service? Who, well, whatever. It doesn't make any difference. I'm just Again, saying. The, the, the authority of the jurisdiction took the truck out of service. Whoever's right. recommendation they well, did, that's, that's, that's up to them. them. That doesn't they, matter. They, they could have stopped it because they didn't take it out of service. That's all I'm saying. It just seems like months and months of uh, delay and heartache and, and uh, a lot of stress on a lot of different parties. This whole thing just kind of rubs me the wrong way. But so then modifying my request to the committee is that the truck be taken out of service again, sent to this authorized Sutphin rep right. for any and include the work order from gallons a night so that we can tell Harrington and shipments, hey, look, I know we planned on servicing the hydraulic system, but apparently somebody else did. Here's what they did and let, uh, let them go through it. And if they go through it and say, 
yeah, it's all good. Gallons of Night did a great job. Then fantastic, it's back. But we have something with Sutton letterhead on it that says we're good. Mr. Yes, uh, Ralph. The only thing that really concerns me with this, Chief, is that you know, pr prior to the oil and filter changes, they really don't have a base to go on. You know, if the truck goes up there with an issue and then they do a service on it, they get to see whether it improves or not. Right. So, so I think that this kind of, in a way, uh, kind of deters that. Uh, one of the recommendations that I would make would be to, um, if the oil had not been changed in the truck in quite a while, the filters, um, I would have them change it again, uh, just so that they can start from a base. Uh, you know, with, with actual Sutton uh, personnel working on the truck. Well, that was serviced, I just, not to jump in, but that was serviced a year ago, and the chief was trying to get the records of who serviced it, because the chief engineer that was in charge of it sent it to a different dealer to take care of it. Right, and that was part of the issue, is that we did ask for the service records, of particularly the hydraulic it. system, and we were unable to, to be provided. He couldn't get it. Now, that was a year. Now, we have an exhaust leak that just didn't happen overnight, and if it went for a year ago to do a service on it, that's one of the things they should have picked up on it. That's why he wanted to get a report, but he couldn't get a report on it. He called, and he wanted to get a copy of it. Yeah, he couldn't find it in the file, but it was done a year ago. Well, there has to be an invoice. For services around. Somebody paid for some work to be done. Oh yeah, no question so, about it. It's Fred, had your hand up. It, well, I was. I wanted to ask Ralph a question, but it's my understanding that this truck just went for a DOT inspection within like the last three or four months. So a lot of these things up. I, I believe they sent it to Frontline in, in Cromwell. I think is the place okay. it went to. Yep. But I mean, a lot of, I mean, the exhaust leak and, and some of these uh, oil leaks, I mean, they should have been picked up and, sure. and addressed right then. I mean, there was a DOT inspector three or four months ago. But the question I wanted to ask Ralph, isn't there, there's like different grades or different uh, viscosities of hydraulic oil, is there not? I mean, my question would be, did uh, Gowans and Knight put the correct uh, viscosity or recommended uh, hydraulic in there, oil I'm, in there? That, uh, I'm sure they did. I'm sure they did. You know, Gallons of Night is a top notch. Yeah, they're top notch out, and they work on shit. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, I know, but I, I, I'm not. I'm not denying that whether they're top notch or not. But I mean, do they have knowledge of what the correct uh, hydraulic oil to put in there would be? I would I'm imagine sure. on the work order, it's going to say how many gallons of what weight oil that they put in it. So if right. we provide that paperwork to shipments and send them the truck, shipments can say, "Hey, no, no, this is the wrong stuff," or yes. Uh, I agree with you, Ralph, that, that perhaps for them to, to go through it, if nothing else, if they fly the bucket a couple times and then run it through again, you know, what do we, what do we lose? A couple of filters and a couple of gallons of hydraulic fluid. The, the other question I'd have is, did shipments take a sample of it, of the oil for uh, spectrum analysis? Never even or not shipments, I'm sorry, out. gallons a night. Gallons oh, a night. Yeah, I don't know. I see it, it, uh, Chief, Chief Toad? Yeah, go ahead, Murph. Um, when I sent that to gallons a night the other day, he had Steve's phone number from Sutphin out in Ohio. Mm -hmm. And he, he was told to contact him with all the information on what needed to be done. So I, I believe he would have done that because he double checked with me with the phone number in the morning to make sure he had the right one. Okay. So again, here we are. What do you want to do, committee? The truck's back in service. Good to go. Right. No, I, I, I agree with you, Chief. It's, it's got to go out and it's got to get all these, uh, the, the, it's got to get all these items repaired that are on the list. So, no. so again, I'll go back to my motion of, of back to your motion. along with the paperwork from Gallons and Knight. And we, uh, D, I believe you mailed the, uh, the annual reports to, so they have a copy of, um, who's about to fire you? National, right? National testing? The, the annual, the American. UL testing. Who's National? American. American ladder testing. American, that okay. So yeah, the, the annual reports. So the, the, I think it's the five previous years of Americans, uh, you know, the NFPA UL um, third party testing, uh, demailed those packages to Harrington out at shipments. I think that we take that, we take that with the work order from gallons a night. So we see what work it is and we send it out to Sutphin and, and give it to the factory authorized rep, my puppy. And uh, and let them uh, 
do what they got to do. Right. Uh, I'll, I'll second that motion if, that, if that's a motion. Uh, I believe somebody has to make an motion and second other than myself, correct? Or can I make the motion? Yeah, chairman can make the motion. You know, okay, so yeah, that's the up. motion I make and Fred second it. Okay. okay, so yes, you can make the motion, but will you repeat it just so that I get it correct? Sure, that uh, the truck be sent to shipments, uh, the authorized shipment dealer for uh, the necessary repairs on the report that the shipment technician did. But along with the truck goes the work order, purchase order, detail work from the recent repairs that were done at Gowans. Okay. Thank goodness that's recorded. <laughs> <laughs> I have, um, uh, and he, I'm sorry, who seconded that? Uh, I did. You did? did? Okay. Yeah, I was just talking away to you and realized I was muted. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, got it. All right, so um, do you, how do you want to work coordinating with Murph to have his guys, you know, get the truck stripped down and get ready for a trip to Waterford? Well, Murph's, Murph's on here. Uh, why don't we ask him? So how do you want to do that, Scott? Tell me when, tell me when you want it to go and I'll head out. Uh, he's going to, he's going to send a driver for it. So all you have to do is make sure it's full of fuel, stripped of any, you know, loose equipment you don't want on it. And, uh, um, you know, he'll come pre -trip. and, yeah, pre-trip and, and they'll come and get it. Okay. What? I told him, I told uh, Harrington to expect it by the end of the week. So, uh, you know, I don't know if you got a work detail down there tonight or you can have it done tomorrow night and I can have him, I can tell him Friday morning or tomorrow, you know, or whatever works for you, Scott. Have him pick it up Friday morning. I'll have it ready for him to go. Okay. So somebody be, who's, who, what name or who do you want me to have as a contact to, you know, get in the firehouse and all that? Uh, have him call me. Okay, no problem. And, and I did finally get a copy of the uh, preventive maintenance annual inspection. Okay. Um, I have it printed out. I will give it to either uh, Chief Ingram or Chief Valenti to get you a copy of it. Absolutely, great. For, that was done on March 27th of this year. Good. That was the, uh, the DOT thing. That, 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 that was the DOT inspection, correct, Chief? Correct. Okay, yeah. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Are we, are, are we under discussion? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so are one of the tasks going to be from Sutphin, uh, what kind of longevity we're looking at with this truck in order to see what it needs for, you know, as far as a replacement, if that be the case? I don't see them doing that. I mean, I mean, they may officially doing that. I, I could see them say, hey, you know, I mean, they've already, the technician guy that, that uh, Bobby and Fred were both talking to both said, you know, it's a good truck. And, and we all recognize that, you know, the, the truck's in its twilight years, you know, it's, uh, but so are a lot of things around here, <laughs> you know, so, so I don't necessarily think that, you know, this quick repair is going to buy us another 15 or 20 years. No, but, but it's, it's certainly not the dire situation that was painted to the town six months ago. So I think that this gives the town uh, and the board of selectmen a reasonable uh, assurance that they have some time now to get together with the board of finance and everybody else and kind of decide where we're going from here. You know, we were talking, or, you know, if you think about it, I mean, Bobby owns most of the heavy equipment in town. There's, there, a ladder truck is the most expensive piece of mobile equipment a municipality can buy. And no matter what, we're talking a million to a million five, million seven, by the time we order this thing, you're, you're talking a major, major investment. So, uh, you know, to rush, to rush into it is bad news. And I, I think that this, this will buy us some breathing room. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think, you, know, you know, we've had something in, it just went up to GK, you know, and then, you know, going it, going up to shipments on top of that, you know, it was just, I think that'll provide us a pretty decent level of comfort going forward. Yeah, I think so. With this one. Okay, so um, so just to recap, uh, we'll get a hold of shipments. Uh, Murph, you'll have that paperwork uh, all set for the for them to pick it up Friday. Absolutely, I'll even I'll get a hold of Jim up at Gowans and have him uh, fax me or email me. Um, the work orders that they had on it with everything they did. Great. Great. 
All right. Anything else to come before the board before the meeting? Uh, Mr. Yes, Chairman, uh, Mr. I, I think you still have to vote on the motion, don't you? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. So all those in favor to to do the uh, sending it up to to uh, shipments for those repairs and whatnot, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries unanimous. Thank you, Mr. Knickerbocker. Uh, any further discussion? Yes, yeah, sir. I, I, One I, quick I, question. I, I, hold on. Go ahead, Matt. No, go ahead. Oh, go, go ahead, ahead. Murph. Chief Murphy can go first. Um, I'm going to leave the truck in service until Friday morning. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. You're the authority. Have its jurisdiction. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to leave it in service till till Friday morning when he comes to pick it up. Then I will take it out of service again. Very yeah. good. Okay. Good. Matt? Um, the, the question I had is uh, during this process of uh, investigation, I had heard um, a, some information which I, I don't know is true. It, it came to me secondhand. So I'd like to ask the committee if you know about this. One thing I heard was that the repair records, the service records on the truck were incomplete, uh, especially on the ladder. Now, is that, was that a rumor or is, it, is there truth to that? Uh, speaking on for myself, I know when we first started, we asked for any and all records we could get. Uh, we got the uh, American Testing Center, which uh, for those of you who don't know, the truck is every year is tested by a third party. Uh, mm -hmm. We got the past five years um, and that was it. Uh, specifically when we talked about the, after we did the special meeting up at the high school and we we went through and, and kind of narrowed down that, especially that noise issue was a hydraulic issue. We asked if there was, you know, records of the last, and, and like Pete was just talking about, there was repairs done in the past year, uh, but we couldn't get any detailed paperwork to, to provide that. Okay, so, so some the of only that records that we have seen are um, are the UL testing, the American <laughs> testing. Okay, but but any 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 service records uh, aside from the uh, legally required testing. Uh, you know, like, uh, for lack of a better word, because I'm not a truck guy, uh, the tune-ups and oil changes. The, the, yeah, no, the, we, we, we don't have any of that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, j just so people know that there, there is a state statute. I was looking up the statutes pertaining to fire commissions and uh, fire uh, uh, levels of authority, and that, that's required by state law. I, I'm not saying that they don't have them. I'm just saying that we didn't, we didn't get them. They, they couldn't produce them. Okay. All right, thank you. Fred Ingram was uh, hold, literally holding up his hand. Go ahead, Fred. Yes, no, I was just going to say, as, as the as the most recent past chief of the department, the, the records we got were most definitely incomplete uh, on that piece okay. of apparatus. Okay. Um, you know, whether or not that they, that's what they have or don't have, that that's, you know, a question that can only be answered. Yeah. Okay. That, those are not a complete set of records regarding that truck. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I'd be really surprised if it was, so. It was out of Adams tested last year and weighed on and everything. Yeah. Right. Right. So, okay. Yeah. Any, uh, anybody else? Anything further? No. All right. Motion to uh, adjourn. No move. So moved. Very good. Thank you, everybody. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Be well. Bye-bye.